Yeah. Good morning from Paris. It all started off by going to Mad Vintage. Mad Vintage is a retail chain that specializes in vintage clothing and accessories. It has stores in over 16 cities in France, including my hometown, Aix-en-Provence. And along the way, we ran into a nice guy who was intrigued by my filming and wanted to ask us a few questions. On a eu genre une professeure de français aux ouais. états unis Qui ne parle pas euh, ouais, Voilà, mais c'est le cas, hein. <rire> Mais c'est bien qu'elle soit ici, comme ça elle peut pratiquer un petit peu améliorer. Ça c'est cool, hein mmh. C'est génial hein. Celui-là c'est bien aussi Ça j'aime Oh, it's like a newer version. This is the back. Comment ça? Ça c'est transparent. She got those ones. Wow. Can finally fix your shoe situation. Ça c'est incroyable. I want to try them. Je sais pas. Je sais pas. Sente. C'est Adidas. Ok, c'est original, ça c'est cool. C'est juste la couleur. Et c'est un peu trans. Vous avez ça C'est comme un cream, comme un cream sucre popsicle. Vous savez, l'orange dream. Ouais, ça. Pizza. Ouais, c'est vraiment cool. Ouais, c'est vraiment cool. Ouais, c'est vraiment cool. Ouais, c'est vraiment Oh, I like the swoosh on the back. Ah, ouais, ouais, c'est énorme. Ah, ouais. Le spit. C'est ça que j'aime pas trop. C'est vraiment. What's this? What's that say? Um, futur. Mais en français. Ça, c'est cool. Oh! C'est beaucoup. Il y a aussi le. Je sais pas. Là aussi. Cult of Neon. Oh, it's Neon. Look at the back. Oh, that's it's really special. Sounds like that's a dad's own brand of ski clothes. And cut. So this is basically why I stopped filming because it eventually became too distracting to try to film and to shop at the same time. And I just really wanted to focus on finding some cool pieces for the limited time that we had there in Paris. So without further ado, this is what I got. All right, so the first piece I got is this awesome security jacket. I'm pretty sure it's from Canada because of the two languages, security guard and agent de sécurité. Yeah, anyways, it has a bunch of cool patches, one on this side and one on this arm, which I love. I have a huge thing with patches. I love putting them on things, especially when they're on clothes. Backpacks is just an awesome thing. Buttons up and the texture and quality is super nice and comfortable. And the main reason I got this jacket is because the back security, it just looks super official and awesome. I love that block. It also has strings on the bottom to tighten it up. Which means that this is a pretty old piece because I'm pretty sure this is what came before elastic. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. So it means it has some age. Just in general, awesome piece, fun find. And it was only 19 euros. So this is an absolute steal. Super happy with it. This is now my official drone flying outfit, outwear, whatever you want to call it. This is what I'm going to be wearing when I'm flying my drone from now on because it makes me look official and no one will mess with me because I'm security. So yeah, this is the first piece I got. Super pleased with it, on to the next. All right, piece number two. 
wacky, wacky, fun jacket. I love this one. Whenever I'm thrift shopping, I'm looking for funky, cool jackets of colors that pop, and this is exactly what I was looking for, so I'm super happy I found this piece. It's super unique, and there's a lot of things going on, and the first thing that really stands out to me is the patch. Like I mentioned earlier, I have a big thing for patches, and especially if they're colorful, really sticks out. It's just a nice central point to the piece, which I really like. Similar to the first jacket, it doesn't have elastic. It has a rope or string that you can pull to tighten the waistline, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, moving up from that, we basically have the pocket of a hoodie, except it has two zippers. But yeah, it functions like a little kangaroo pouch. And then on top of that, there's another little pocket here, which is super sweet. I really love that fun little feature. I love it when pieces have extra pockets and little things. I'm a big pocket nerd. If you put pockets and patches on clothes, I'm all in. Anyway, that's what we got for pockets on this jacket. Wait. All right, so I just discovered more pockets. I didn't even know this was on the thing. It's like elastic and it has these. I'm super confused. So it looks like we have a pocket on the side, two little elastic bands. I really have no idea what this is for. It kind of looks like suspenders, but it's on the side of me and it's not on the other side. So yeah, we just discovered a new pocket in this jacket. You guys got to see that firsthand, a little discovery adventure. Not really sure what that is, so let me know in the comments what that is, if you know. Moving up, we have this little sleeve patch protective thing, protecting the zipper yet again, like we got going on down here. We've got the same thing up here, so if you're getting hot or it's, the rain is cooling down, you can just zip and get some fresh air in. Feeling good again. Yeah, nice little zipper with the J for Gene Tex on it. The brand that made this fabulous jacket. Yeah, zip it up, tuck it in. Then we got our little collar going on right here, which is a convertible. You can have the hood in or you can tuck it into the collar, which is an awesome feature that I love. And I have that in one of my jackets back in the United States. Overall, just an awesome piece in general. And for just 29 euros, it's not bad. On to the next one. The third piece is this kind of sweater pullover thing, whatever you want to call it. It's warm, it's super soft. As you can kind of see right here, it's a really nice material, kind of feels like velvety. My mom said this is like a big thing back when she was growing up in the 80s, 80s? The 80s, yes, the 80s. Yeah, we got three layers, three layers. This nice little darker green kind of turquoise color-ish, yeah. This nice kind of like red pinkish, and then this navy darker blue color. Nice darker tones works together really well, and I like how it also continues on the sleeves. Anyways, this is definitely my favorite piece out of the whole collection. I can already see myself wearing this and a pair of jeans, studying at a nice little cozy cafe all throughout the season of fall and winter, because when it cools down, this is gonna be an awesome piece to wear. I'm looking forward to it. But unfortunately right now it's just a little bit too hot. This is gonna stay in my closet for a little while, but you'll see me wearing it in later videos when I get back to the United States. In general, awesome piece. I love this. Favorite piece from the collection. And I think it was just 20 euros, I'm pretty sure. So that's a steal. Absolute steal, mate. This is definitely a wacky shirt. I kinda hesitated before buying it. I wasn't sure when I was actually gonna wear it. And it's also one of those pieces that you can't wear all that often because it's quite recognizable and you gotta spread it out because people will definitely notice when you're wearing it. It's essentially just the map of Florida. Bunch of cities and then little icons for what the place is renowned for. Like right here we have a cruise ship, snorkeling, palm trees, alligators, flamingos. And then on the back continues on. So yeah, for all you Floridians out there, I'm repping the state by wearing this shirt. Florida's an interesting state, a lot of old people there. I have grandparents live there, love you guys. And yeah, it's definitely one of those pieces that's a bit odd and you can't wear all that often, but it's a fun piece to add to the collection because yeah, where else are you gonna find the shirts? 
And now for the fifth and last piece that I got in France, this shirt. You guys saw it in the last video. As some of you know, I'm a big Nike fan. And when I saw this shirt, it absolutely caught my eye. The font is super cool. And the design in general, with the statues, satellite view of the earth, and just the message, reach for the sky is kind of cool. And yeah, I also like that the shirt is tie-dyed. Gives it a nice pop of color. If you want to call this number, I'm not sure what will happen. But um, yeah, you can join them. Call that number if you want. And yeah, if you call that number, I'm not liable for anything that happens to you. Also, disclaimer, this was not bought at a thrift shop. This was bought at a store because it's a new shirt. However, all the other items that I previously have shown were all bought in thrift shops. So yeah, that concludes the five new pieces I've added to my collection while vintage shopping in Paris, France. I know this video is a little bit different from what I normally do. However, vintage clothing is something I'm very passionate about. I love the aesthetic of old things, designing clothing, and just how things were designed and how aesthetic things were back in the day. Something that really excites my visual mind. It's a fun way for me to express myself. They're looking a little bit funky and different from everyone else, and I like to do that. If you're still watching, don't forget to go make someone smile. And if you enjoyed watching the video, like it. It really does help boost the analytics so that more people can see my videos, which is a good thing. It helps support me and I'd really appreciate it. I'm going to be posting a lot more often from now on and the more people we have here, the more fun it is. Stay tuned and I'll see you very soon.